hang out with me today. I don't really have any DIYs today, but I do have a bunch of stuff that I got from Timu that I'm really excited to share with you. Are you familiar with Timu? Because I really wasn't, but once I got on their website, I was hooked. They have so many affordable things on their website in so many different categories, anything from home decor to craft supplies to kitchen gadgets, which I'm a total sucker for. So today, I have a bunch of things. I'm going to have them all listed in the description box for you so you have quick links to everything. And also, Timu gave me a coupon code for you that will give you 30% off for new users. You just have to use the code OFF5882. I'll have everything listed in the description box, including that coupon code and the link to take you to the Timu store. Now, if you're not familiar with Timu, you can shop using your desktop or laptop, just going to timu.com, or you can download the app for Android and iOS. Uh, they have a really easy to use Timu app, which is really great because I use my phone for most everything. So I love using the app. It's really easy to navigate. And some other things that I really love about Timu is that they have free shipping on all orders and they have free returns within 90 days. So that makes it really easy. It gives me peace of mind if something comes in damaged or broken, I can return it for free. I'm not responsible for the shipping. And I love that they have free shipping because nothing makes me more mad than when I'm shopping online and I'm thinking I'm getting a great deal and then there's a huge shipping charge. So I've really been enjoying shopping on Timu. I think you will too. I'm really excited to show you all the products that I got from them. I hope you're excited too. Let's get started. Now, like I mentioned, Timu has a huge selection of kitchen gadgets, which I love. And one of the things that really caught my eye were these cord keepers. Now, I have a ton of appliances that have really long cords on them, which is great because I don't have many outlets in my kitchen. But the problem is when I try to put them away, the cord just kind of flies all over the place. And when I'm trying to pull it out of the cupboard, I end up getting the cord tangled around things and it's pulling other things out of the cupboard. It's just a mess. So with these cord keepers, they come in gray, black, and white, and they also have little adhesive tabs that fit on the back side of all of these. So these are great. I have a real problem with my food processor. <laughs> For whatever reason, that's the cord that drives me nuts when I try to get it out of the cupboard. So all I had to do was take one of these cord keepers, take the adhesive tab, apply it to the back of the cord keeper, then I was able to put it onto my food processor and because it has these little wings on the sides, I could wrap the cord around until I had all of the length of the cord wrapped around it and then there's a slot right in the center that I can push the end of the plug into and it keeps my cord up against my food processor and it doesn't get all over everything else in the cupboard when I'm trying to pull it out. This has been a real lifesaver because I have crock pots, rice cookers, I have a blender, I have all these things with cords that drive me crazy. So I'm really excited to put these on all of my appliances. Also for my kitchen, I got an electric pepper grinder, which I am so excited about. My husband and I cook so much and we always use fresh ground black pepper in our dishes but sometimes when we're cooking larger dishes and we're trying to grind, grind, grind all that pepper, it really gets annoying. So I was really excited to see this electric pepper grinder on Timu. It takes four AAA batteries, which I want to let you know now because I didn't have four AAA batteries on hand. So I had to go digging through all the TV remotes in the house to get batteries to put in this. So just know ahead of time, this does take four AAA batteries but it's really easy to use. There's a little compartment on the front that twists and locks into place. You just have to unlock it and lift it up and that's where you pour your peppercorns into. And there's also an adjuster on the bottom to switch between coarse and fine ground pepper. And there's also a light on the bottom too, which I thought was kind of clever so you can see exactly how much pepper is coming out. Once you have the pepper grinder full of the peppercorns, you just have to push the button on the top and the pepper grounds will come out through the bottom. 
Now I will say I did switch between fine and coarse and there wasn't a huge difference between the coarse ground pepper and the fine ground pepper, but it was fine with me. I was just happy to be able to push a button and get enough pepper for in my dishes. Now I'll be real honest with you. In our house, I would say 95% of the time, my husband is the one washing the dishes. I am very lucky, I know, I don't wash dishes that often. But he likes to use a sponge to wash the dishes and so do I. So I was really happy to see this soap dispenser with a sponge on top. This is very easy to use and it's very handy. It sits on the counter nicely. There's a compartment along the bottom. You just lift the tray off the top. Um, unscrews the little nozzle and then you can add your favorite dish soap to the well underneath. Once you have it full, you, scr you screw the little top back on, replace the tray, and then you set your sponge on the tray and you give it a few pumps and the soap comes right up through onto your sponge. What I also really like about the tray that comes with this soap dispenser is that it is angled. So if there is any water that comes out of your sponge or any excess, it just drains back down in to the bottom and you don't have a mess and like I said it fits really nicely on the counter it stays out of the way and it has come in really handy now the last thing I want to talk about for my kitchen isn't really so much of a gadget but I don't know about you when I see something that is normally bigger and it's shrunk down to miniature size or the opposite of something supposed to be tiny and it's blown up big it just really catches my eye and I love those kinds of things so when I saw these mini ketchup and mustard bottles on the TV website, I had to have them. They're so tiny. I love them so much. Now these say ketchup and honey mustard on them. I'll probably just put regular mustard in the mustard one, but I think they're so cute. They have a great screw top so you can fill it up really easily and then you can take the top of the lid off that also unscrews and it has a little nozzle so you can squirt out your condiments and these just crack me up so much i love them i can't wait to see them in my lunch box <laughs> and i think if you have little ones that you pack a lunch for they would get a big kick out of having these in their lunch box too now, in addition to the kitchen in my home, we also have a camper that has a kitchen, and I did find a few things on Timu that I'm going to be placing out in our camper. One of those things is this collapsible strainer or colander. It's made of silicone and plastic. It collapses really nice, so and if anybody has a small kitchen or an RV or camper like we do, you know that you're limited on storage space, so anytime you can save a few inches by something that collapses, it makes a huge difference. And this fits nicely in our sink. There's a ton of holes throughout it, so if you're rinsing vegetables or fruits or if you're draining pasta, you'll have plenty of drainage here, but the holes aren't so big that you're going to lose any of the items either. And and because it does collapse nice and flat, it fits great in a drawer and it kind of stays out of the way. Another thing that I bought for the kitchen in our camper is this dish strainer. What I love about this, it is small again, so when we're traveling with the camper, it can sit down inside of the sink, but when we're using it in the kitchen, it fits nicely around the lip of the sink. And for us, it fits perfect this size, but if your sink's a little bit larger, you can always expand it just by pulling it apart. And now you have a nice long dish strainer, which I think is great to fit in all sorts of shapes and sizes of different sinks. And the other thing I love about this is because it does open up like this, it fits down inside of our camper sink. So if I need to store anything in there while we're traveling, like if I still have a few wet dishes or anything like that, it can just sit in the bottom of the sink and the dishes continue drying while we're traveling. And I love that it switches sizes because I think that always comes in handy. You never know when you're gonna need something a little bit bigger or keep it smaller. Another kitchen item that I got for our camper is this set of barbecue skewers. It comes in this nice sleek metal tube so it can stay contained and out of the way and because it is so small it fits nicely into a drawer and what I love about these is there's a lot of them 
and they are stainless steel so we'll be able to put these on the grill with no problem and use them over the fire and they'll clean up well too we don't have to worry about packing the bamboo bamboo skewers and only using them once we'll have the metal skewers um, to use over and over again so i'm really excited to have these in the camper now moving on to the bathroom in our camper i found this little bath mat uh, that you keep inside of the shower and you can see it has little fingers on it or little frilly pieces and I thought this would be great because when we are camping we're usually in sandals or flip-flops and our feet tend to get dirty so when we step into the shower at night we can just rub our feet all over the top of this bat bath mat and get our feet nice and clean. The other thing I really like about this bath mat is that it does have suction cups all over the back of it so once the floor of the shower is a little damp, I can stick this down and it'll stay in place so that when we're rubbing our feet on it and trying to get our feet clean, it's not going to be sliding all around. And actually on the website, they also showed um, where you could use the suction cups on this bath mat and stick it to the wall. And if you put a little bit of your favorite body wash or soap on it, you can rub your back up against it and wash your back a little bit easier, which I think is really nice too. Unfortunately, it didn't work in our camper shower because the walls of the shower are textured, so the suction cups didn't want to stick to the wall of the shower. Um, but I think that's a really great idea, and I think it would probably really feel good on your back too because these little pieces that are on the bath mat are... They're not super soft, but they're not hard either, so I think it would just feel like a really nice little back massage if you decide to stick this on the wall of your shower. And because space is limited in our camper, I needed a nice basket to house all of our washcloths and hand towels for in our bathroom. I love this bath basket. It's made of a white rope. It's nice and flexible so that if I want to store it out of the way for winter, I can fold it down. Um, I love the leather detail on the handles and actually these leather pieces do unsnap and come off if I need to remove them to wash this. Um, but I think it looks so nice on the counter of our bathroom and our camper. It just makes the towels look a little bit nicer and I can just move it to the floor on our travel days so I don't have to worry about it flying around. But if I do forget to take it off of the counter because it is so soft and there's no hard pieces in it if it does go flying it's not going to cause any damage i love this basket a lot i actually think i'm going to get a few more of these to keep in my house too just to kind of wrangle up some of those random objects that always seem to never have a home i think these look so pretty and if you would stack some of these on bookshelves or um like my coffee table has a little ledge underneath it that i can keep baskets on i think this would just look so much nicer and neater if the random objects I have, like remotes and extra cords and stuff like that, if I put these in this and then set it along the shelf on the bottom of my coffee table, I think that'll look so nice. Another storage item that I bought that I'm not sure if I'm going to use in the house or in the camper is this really large storage cube. I love this cube because it has a clear window on the front so you can see what kind of items you're putting in. It also has handles on the sides so it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to move things from room to room or if I'm trying to move things from the home to the camper. This is a pretty big storage cube. It measures 23 inches by 13 inches by 15 inches so it does hold a lot of things just as an experiment I threw in two blankets two pillows and I still had plenty of room for other things so this will really come in handy like I said either in the home or in the camper and it'll come in handy too if I'm just trying to use it to move stuff from the house out to the camper like I could throw all of our clothes that we would need for a trip in here and I can move it out to the camper and even store it in this because we don't have a lot of storage for our clothes so this would be a great way we could keep our clothes in this and just throw it in the camper and it'll stay nice and protected with this material um, the zippers work great on it I was a little nervous um, about zippers I always get a little weirded out by zippers because these have um, they're kind of small but actually I've been messing with them a good bit and they are nice and sturdy so I don't have to worry about the zippers I think they're gonna do great and like I said I really like that there's a clear window on the front of this so I can see all of the things that I put in there if I'm gonna use something like this for 
storing seasonal decor or winter clothes or something like that. I can see what I put in there and I'll remember what's in there <laughs> because I do that a lot. I get a tote and I throw stuff in it and I can't remember what's in it. So I have to dig through and look at everything. But this way with the window, I can just have a peek and I know what I have in there. I mentioned that Timu has a lot of craft supplies and one of the things they have are faux florals, which I love. Uh, so I wanted to get a couple just to see what the quality is like and what they're like. One of the things I got was this bunch of eucalyptus. It's actually two bunches, but they are already separated. So they do have a wire and there's a wire that runs from the base to the tip. So if you need to bend it to drape it over something, you can bend it the whole way. It's not just the bottom part that's wired and it is thin enough. You could cut it with wire cutters as well. Um, I like this because you can either use the whole bunch and stick it in a vase if you need just a quick little floral centerpiece, but because they are individual, if you're making something where you just need to add a little bit of height to something, you could just tuck these in and have a few shooting up, or like I mentioned, they do bend, and because the wire runs the whole way through them, you could bend them, stick them in, and have them drape over the sides of different things too. Another floral that I decided to try was a bouquet. This comes in a bunch of different colors. I just pick the white because I do tend to like neutrals. Now what I really love about this per particular bouquet is that it has a bunch of different types of flowers in it because if you've watched some of my DIY videos, you know that I always struggle with flower arranging. So when I have a bouquet like this that already has different flowers in it and they're already at different heights, it makes it a lot easier. I can just take this whole bouquet and put it right into a vase or something that I DIY'd and the work is done for me. I really like the quality of these flowers in particular. They have a nice feel to them and I really love the leaves that are on the flowers too. You can see that each flower has a few different types of leaves um, in different shapes and colors, which I think just really adds to the texture of the bouquet itself. And I, I think it kind of elevates it a little more. It makes it look more high end, but it's still extremely affordable. The last faux floral that I bought is this really pretty spring wreath. This is a 17 inch wreath and I picked the one that has the pink and purple flowers on it because those are some of my favorite colors. I love the greenery that's in here. It reminds me of boxwood, which is one of my favorite types of greenery. The thing that I really, really appreciate about this wreath is that it lays very flat on the back. You can see it's just a plastic, um, it's almost like a half of a wreath form. You know, if you buy those, styrofoam wreath forms they they go the whole way around this is like having just half so wherever you hang this it will lay very very flat and you can see it's so full there's so many florals on here you can't even see through to the wreath form the wreath form itself is green so even if you do get a peak of it it blends right in because it's the it's the right shade of green to blend in with all of this greenery I love wreaths like this because they can stand alone. I think it's so pretty just with all the different colors in it that I could hang it up and have it just be a standalone piece or I could um, decorate it up for the different holidays throughout the spring and summer. For example, if I wanted to, I could take some of those small uh, foam Easter eggs, you know, the little, the ones that have like speckles on them and stuff. They're like a pastel color. I think those are so cute, but I think those would look really cute if you tucked some of those in between these flowers or even a few little bunnies, a few little carrots, something like that would look really cute for uh, spring and Easter. And if you wanted to, you could also add a bow to this wreath. But like I said, I think it's so pretty just on its own. I'm probably just going to hang it up. And the other thing that I really appreciate about this wreath are the colors because my front door is a darker wood. So colors like this really stand out on the door. So you can really see it from the road, which I really like. I have a few more things to show you that I didn't really have a category to put them in. They're just a few little random things that I got. Um, if you've watched some of my DIYs that I've done on my channel, you know that I love to create hanging banners where I take an image or a picture and I add wood to the top and bottom and I hang it up. So Timu had this really awesome thing and this is perfect for if you find a gift bag that you really like the design on or if you want to create your own or 
if you find a calendar page that you really enjoy and you want to display it in your home, they have holders. Now these look like they're just two wooden sticks and this one has a string on it, but what's really cool is they come apart and there's magnets on the inside. So you can take an image or a picture, or like I said, a calendar page, and you can place it in between here and the magnets stick together, holding the image in place. Now they had two different sizes. This is the 12 inch one. So these are 12 inches in length. Um, so I could do any kind of image that is 12 inches in width or narrower. Um, they also had smaller ones and they have a few different colors of finish too. Um, I'll have this all linked down below for you, but um, they had the wood and I believe they had black and white too. And like I said, this one has a hanger on it. So everything's done for you. All you have to do is take the image that you want to hang and put it in between the two pieces with the magnets and hang it up. One of the issues I always have when I'm traveling is trying to keep all of my electronics and cords kind of wrangled together. I always seem to forget either some kind of charging cord because you know, no electronics can use the same cords. They all have their own cords or I forget extra camera batteries, different things like that. So I found this tech case on Timu that I'm really excited about. The thing that I really love about this case is that on the inside, it comes with dividers and the inside is nice and soft so it's going to protect anything that you place inside and the dividers that it comes with have velcro on the ends and it sticks to the inside of the case so you can configure it in any pattern that you need to to fit your electronics i placed my battery back up in first because it's one of the larger pieces and then i was able to place one of the dividers next to it and then i could create another space for my wireless earbuds, another space for some little power cubes, and then of course on the side I had an extra space then I could store some cords. And then on the inside of the top of the case, there are some elastic bungees that you can slide cords into, and there's some mesh pockets. So if you are carrying camera gear and you need to carry extra batteries or extra SD cards, you can slip those into the mesh, mesh pockets. And like I said, everything on the inside of this case is really soft. So it will protect all of your electronics. And it even has some little electronic symbols on the front here. So you know exactly what's in this case. And it has a carrying handle. So if you're trying to move it in and out of bags, you can just pick this up and go wherever you need to. The last thing I have to show you is a hair towel. Now, a lot of you know that I do work full time as a hairdresser and I do like to take a good care of my hair because it's sort of me setting an example for my clients. You know, if I don't have nice hair, why, why would you come to me to get your hair done, right? So when I do my hair, I don't like to blow dry it. I like to keep as much heat off of my hair as I can to keep it healthy. So I love using hair towels like this. When I get out of the shower after I wash my hair, I wrap it up in a hair towel to get most of the water out of it before um, I need to blow dry. If I'm going to blow dry, I try not to. I usually just try to let it air dry. But this is great because it does absorb so much water and this material is so soft. I don't know what it's made of, but if they could make blankets out of this, this would be the only kind of blanket I use because it's so soft. I love this color. Mauve is always one of my favorite go-to colors and it does have a cute little rainbow star print on the side. Um, another thing that comes in handy with these kind of hair wraps is once I get my hair wrapped up in it as it's drying, then I'm able to go through my normal skincare routine and it keeps all of my hair off of my face so that I can get all my, you know, creams and potions and serums and everything else I need because I'm in my forties. So I'm trying to keep the skin looking good. Um, so it keeps all the hair off of my face so that I can take care of my skin and I don't get any of that product in my hair. And I am a sucker for the little details and I have to tell you when I pulled this thing out it has a it has an elastic loop on the one end so when you wrap your hair up in it you put the loop over a button and look at this button 
It's a tiny little teddy bear. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love little details like this. It makes me appreciate products so much more. So I think I'm definitely going to have to order a few more of these. I hope you enjoyed all of the products that I showed you today. Some of these just blew my mind and some of them just cracked me up and I love them all. I hope you're excited to start shopping on Timu. Remember, if you're new to Timu, you can get 30% off of your order using the code OFF5882. I'll have my link to Timu in the description box, including all of the links to everything that I showed you today. So make sure you let me know in the comments, have you shopped on Timu before? And what are some of the things you've bought from them? If you're going to shop on them, let me know which of the things today that I showed you that you're most interested in. Thank you again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for hanging out with me again. This was fun. I enjoyed doing a haul video rather than a DIY, but don't worry, I still have some DIYs on the way. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you.